good morning and welcome to your Wednesdays this morning. Well, we've got loads coming up for you on today's show, but we're starting by talking to a very much-loved member of our This Morning family, and that is, of course, Vanessa. Well, it has been a very tough week for her, and uh, she's been incredibly honest and open about her split from, uh, from Ben, and she's here now. Um, how are you feeling? I think I'm feeling just like anybody else would after the end of a 16-year relationship which I had my, my heart and soul in, you know? So I, I, I believed wholeheartedly in it. And so when you have to end a relationship, it's, it's very, very hard. I, I, I'm feeling it just like anybody else. And I, I've had so many, honestly, I don't know, it feels like millions of messages, so, so many from people going through it. Yeah. And, and I wouldn't want to minimise in any way what, what, what it's like when you're heartbroken. It's horrible. It's horrible, really. And um, is it... Is it help? I, we, so we all just want to wrap you up in cotton wool right now and protect you from everything. That's kind of all our instincts. Thank you. You are getting so much support. I mean, everybody is literally. The People whole have been amazing. Is behind you. Absolutely amazing. And I, of course, it helps a lot. And also, I can't sleep at all. Oh. So, reading thousands and thousands of messages from lovely people on Instagram yeah. is something to do in the middle of the night because it's, you know, I, I'm really finding my real friends, my real family, people I don't know. Yes, it's, it's, and also, God's sake, I'm not alone. And also, I've been through it before. It's not like I'm, I'm a stranger to this stuff. I've already had a horrible yeah, divorce. So, I, I'm, you know, but it's quite familiar, this awful feeling. And, and, but I'm, absolutely not going to let it grind me down. I'm not. I'm just not. However I feel inside, I'm going to, you know, put it on on the mm. outside, definitely. For you, everybody approaches these things differently. Some people keep everything private and keep it as, you know, as away from the public as possible. Yes. Your Instagram has been inspirational and amazing and very helpful, I'm sure, to a lot of people. But you have decided to wear your heart fully in, a, in the open. Has that helped you? Is that a good idea? I don't, I don't think I've had much choice, quite frankly, because I think the story was going to come out somehow. It wasn't me that, that, that told anybody about it. I was trying to keep, keep it private for as long as I possibly could. Now everybody knows about it. How do I feel? I feel very mixed feelings. It's very peculiar when you walk into a room or a restaurant or into, into work and, and you know every single person knows your private business. Mm. That's not a nice feeling, obviously. Um, but on the other hand, People come and give you a big cuddle, and also you don't have to keep explaining it because everybody already knows it. I'm trying to look on the bright side, yeah. cool. you know. And I, I've been kind of, you know, people have always wanted to know about me for it's, it's been for over 30 years. I've never really known why I'm of any interest, really. But everybody always wants to know what's going on. I suppose my relationship was always fascinating to people. They couldn't work out, you know, he was younger and I was older, and we were different and mm. all of this. And so now it's over. I don't know. I, 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 I. I I don't know. I, I, I don't really mind that people know. I, I, now they know. But I, I, I was wishing that they wouldn't find out for a long while longer, I suppose. I mean, if we could, you know, you'd wave a magic wand and take the pain away. And I think everybody feels like that with you. You're always the one that offers great advice. But people must have said things to you. Like, what, what's been... What, has anything helped? Has anybody said anything that's kind of... Not really. I think... I, I, I think it helps when people say um, that you shouldn't feel foolish. Yeah. for having faith in your own partner. Yeah. You shouldn't feel that you've done something stupid because you believed in somebody that you loved. That isn't a ridiculous thing to do. No. Um, and, so, uh, and so, you know, I have said I feel, I feel sad, I feel hurt, which I do, and I, and I have said I feel terribly humiliated. And lots of people have said, you shouldn't because, no, you, definitely you know, shouldn't. You, you shouldn't. So, so I think that's quite, quite helpful that, you know, to believe in, in, in your own relationship, you know, isn't, isn't stupid. Well, we, um, we've shared this with you for a, a, a while now, yeah. privately, and we've, we've hugged you as you've been about to go on the telly and mm. do a news review and, uh, and put your brave face on. Yeah. And did this come as a, as a shock for you? or Has this been a sudden thing or was it a, a, a gradual something's not right here? Uh, both. I think, and I bet most people would say the same thing. A terrible shock and also a kind of gradual thing. Yeah. yeah, I think that's often the case, isn't it? It was kind of a mixture of the two, mm -hmm. really. Um, you know, I, I, yeah, I, don't, I don't really want to dwell on anything, any of mm -hmm. the details. I really do want to focus on the future. Yeah. Yeah. And I really want to focus on 
telling myself there is a future. Which, of course, there is. Yes, a very bright, shiny one. I hope so, but yeah. I, I certainly want there to be. And, I'm, and, I'm, and, I, do, and I think that the great thing is to, to really gather, gather... I think the best thing is to gather all the love and all the people that you love and all the things that you love and all the places that you love and just kind of well, this spend is the time having a good time, you're, you're you giving think? today. Yeah, that's... Yeah. So yeah. What, what are you doing today? Well, we're doing a phone-in. It's about broken hearts, really. And I suppose, in a way, if I'm completely honest and I, I don't really know any other way to be, I'd love it if people would phone in and tell me how they got over it themselves. Yeah. If you've been through a, a horrible Vanessa breakup... Today. Yeah, help me out. <laughs> Is, am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd, sure. I'd take, honestly, any advice I can get yeah. from anyone. I, if anyone wants it from me, blimey, I can, I, can, I can dish it out, no problem. But if you've got stuff that you want to tell me... I'd be really grateful to receive yeah. it because I feel as if I'm literally in the eye of the storm at the moment. No, I, haven't no. got, I haven't got to the bit where you look back on it. I'm right in it. And, um, and anything anyone can tell me about getting through it, I would be so grateful, honestly. I really would. Well, there's a, there's a hundred hugs waiting for you as soon as you uh, <laughs> step on the other side of the cameras. Mm -hmm. um, if you would like to give us a call for free on 08000 30 40 44, download our free This Morning app to get involved. Please get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over. Now, here's what's coming up on the rest of today's show. There were falls, fumbles and lots of laughter last week. Look at, look at. Ah! Sorry! I forgot oh. how to ski! <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. I'm never going to be asked to come back here ever again. Get ready for more snowy fun as Alison and Josie continue their alpine adventure. They'll be taking some gorgeous huskies for a walk, or will that be the other way around? Love is in the air with Valentine's Day just around the corner. Steve Wilson will be here with the best gifts to treat your loved ones to. Morning. Good morning. Yes, whether you're celebrating it with a partner or your family who celebrate it or just with a friend, I've got some nice heartwarming gifts for you. And you know me, if I can squeeze a toy into an item, I will, and I have. <laughs> Thank you very much. And move over Nando's and other brands of spicy chicken. Paul Ainsworth is showing you how to make your very own delicious peri peri chicken. Good morning, Paul. What have you got? Good morning. So we're going to be doing a beautiful tray bake piri piri chicken and then finishing it with some lovely basil coriander and feta that looks lovely so good also uh, today it's the hit show that's receiving rave reviews we'll be joined by the stars of the supernatural series lockwood and co that's at 10 30. and if you've got a burning question that only a gp can answer dr nigat will be here to take your calls at 10 55. and here to tell us all about her brilliant new series funny woman Gemma arterton will be on the sofa at 10 past 11. but first